Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today's Monday and Monday means zoo tours on our channel and today we are back with yet another zoo by Ravenscar Gaming. I'm sorry Ravenscar, I just love your zoos and I feel the urge to show them all here. I have some more in my locks of you so be wary, more are coming, but they will be spread out in a few weeks. Anyways, today we are doing the Sydney Zoo, it is a full zoo. And it says this in the description. Welcome to Sydney Zoo. Interactions include a reptile house and a conservation hall. Animals include aardvark, uh, tortoise, camel, ostrich, you know, and all more. Everything in the, cre in the zoo is created by Ravenscar itself, except for some items. And they are linked in the Steam link. The Steam link to Ravenscar's zoo is also in the description down below. So when you finish the zoo, make sure to give the zoo some love because it is absolutely amazing. And guys, with no further ado, let's get into the zoo because just look at this. This looks so amazing. So let's get into that tour. Hello guys, so we're back with the actual zoo tour. You can see here, Zipney Zoo by Ravenscar. You come to think that I have preference for Ravenscar, his zoos, because, you know, um, I tour a lot of them. I can't help that. They're just amazing. So this is another one, the Sydney Zoo. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's based on the real life zoo in Sydney because I've never been there, but this looks really nice. I love all the foliage like alongside. So we're just gonna dive straight in. So we're just gonna go here to the beginning and right away I can see like this lovely like horns on here. This looks really nice. Just love the sign as well. And then we have admit admissions, so you can get some information, you can see all the animals here. People are chilling on the benches. Um, let's go left. I like going left. Uh, we have this lovely sign here, the zoo, which really is clever. Welcome, well thank you. Mm. I'm quite curious what's behind here, I can't see yet, but you know, I'm curious. We have a lovely plaza. I love the way you built this up, not just this. There's like storage above it with the ropes here. Looks really nice. There's some toilets there. And here we have the first exhibit or habitat. It is for the uh, doll sheep. I was gonna call it in Dutch, I was like, no wait, it's a doll sheep. I like that you put it like underneath here because obviously Office Dali is a different name than doll sheep. I enjoy that. Oh, and they have babies. Look how cute, little babies. Now, ah, let's see this habitat. I love that this is white. You don't have a lot of climbing material for them because, you know, they're really rock animals. But, you know, besides that, it looks really nice. I love the home that you have here for them. There's something broken in there. And I like this. They have this really good privacy. The keepers can see them from here. I love this as well. This is really nice. Why haven't I thought of something like this? This looks really amazing. Same with the beginning with the building. I love that you just put the extra dimension on top of it to make it look realistic. I really, really like that. And apparently the people love this as well because, you know, a lot of them are standing here. So we have the doll sheep and here we have the pick me hippo. Ooh, I can already see something I like. Wow. Oh, and they're right here. Okay, so this is so cleverly thought. So just let me just screenshot this for inspiration. This is amazing. I mean, look, you use the rocks, you use the um, enrichment item, and then you put rocks like all around it with the reed and then the ivy and on top of it as well. This is really, really nice. Now there's a pygmy hippo in there, so let's just go underwater. Look, they're so fat and small. I enjoy it so much, they're really cute. Again, with this structure, it looks really realistic. I really like it. Oh, you have two viewing points on the other side is one as well. We like that. Oh, yeah, so let's get back to here. So otherwise we're going to get lost I mean, knowing me. So I'm very chaotic. Ah, you painted the donation bins. Nice. It almost looks wood style now. Nice. Really classy. So that leads to, ooh, look at this. This is really nice. That leads to the uh, doll sheep. I thought I heard some protesters. Oh, we do have protesters. Oh well. I'm gonna pop your balloon. There. Okay, um, let's see. Let's go left again. So we have the art park. Oh, look at it running. 
It's so cute. It's like it's really it looks really clumsy and I really like that. Really nice. Ah, uh, so they have the other side of the building where we just they have like the same structure wise, which is really nice. And the keepers can see them from there. Really, really nice with the water here. And then you have some vines here and then the foraging pool. Of course, art parks live on the ground, so you also have this bit for them. It's the enrichment things. There's really, no, it's a pro tip for all of you guys. Put enrichment items where you want the animals to be. So if I want my art park to be here, I will put enrichment items here and the bedding. Just because, you know, they will go there. That's why I always, in my videos, I always put enrichment items uh, close to the border. Just so that people can actually see the animals. Oh, they're protesting here. Oh well. They're loud. So many people here. This is not COVID proof. <laughs> Ooh, barista cabin. This looks really nice. I like the way that you close this off. That's really nice. And a little temple. Oh, I'm, I'm lost. There we go. Odd fuck house. And I can hear flamingos as well. Oh. Oh wow. See, I should watch more of you because I get so inspired. I think I'm gonna tour all your zoos now. Oh, I didn't even see this, but look on top. Nice. The tree. This is really, really nice. Yeah, you're probably gonna see some solo ideas in my video. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry. I know it says flamingos, but I meant pea files. Oh. What bush is that? Arctic air plants. That's really clever. Just like it's poured it on that. That's so nice. PFL gardens. Oh my gosh. This. Okay. Could just continue walking, please. There. Really, really amazing. There's some one way glass. Ah, oh, there they are. And then you have here this little. Elevated item with this bench. Never really use this bench or the bins. Really nice keeper entry. And then here you go out. Look at this building. Wow. The details, man. Amazing. So, and if you're scared to go actually in the garden, you can look here. Really, really nice. So, we had this temple bit. Let's just uh, see what's in there. Oh, tigers. Siberian tiger. Oh, we have the food. Wait, oh no, it's boxed. Oh. Sometimes it gets stuck like that. That's really annoying. So you just have to move it. You're not dead, are you? No, you're not. Okay, good. Oh, look at that. Now they're immediately eating. Oh, I didn't see this. This is really nice. Ah, uh, they're old already. Really, really nice. I love with the cherry blossom trees. In Japan, you call that uh, sakura. Sakura trees. Sakura. I'm learning Japan at the moment, so... Or Japanese. I'm learning Japanese at the moment. So, you know, in two to three years, I'm going to be fluent. <laughs> That's the end goal. Oh, I love this with the maple trees as well. Oh, on the water section that you have. And then you have the one-way glass with the empty climbing barrier on top. Really cool. I love that you have snow here and then no snow there. Really nice. Really ties it together. Same here with the flowers. Really, really nice. And you have painted each and every... Ooh. Like you have painted all the different bins. Like according to the animal. I really like that. They're protesting. What are they protesting for? Oh, you're stuck. Oh, well, then I'll just move you. There? Okay, I didn't realize he was stuck. Well, they did it. Okay, so what's in here? Looks like a greenery, so perhaps... Um, okay, I'm gonna guess. I think either uh, crocodiles or exhibits. Also, it's turning night. I don't want that. I want it to be day. There. Let's see. Oh! Neither. Dinosaurs. Ooh. 
I actually love dinosaurs. We have the, uh, oh gosh, I can't pronounce this. Paradactyl. This is not a paradontal, this is a paradactylus, isn't it? Flying dinosaur paradactylus, I'm not sure. Uh, Spinosaurus, ooh, I love Jurassic Park 3 in that. Let's see, then we have the Brachiosaurus, and we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and then we have the... They're probably their real names, because I'd known this as a... Oh wait, this is not, never mind, this is an... Acrotherium, not sure what that is. And then we have the Mammoth. And I believe we have an upstairs as well. I really like this. African cave art. Oh, cool. You put like an entire museum in here and you can go there to the bears. So that people actually walk here. Native American art. That's so cool. Brown bears. Himalayan brown bear. I love the way you put this on the letters on the ground. Never thought of that. That's so clever. Oh. Let's see. Ah, I've spotted them. Oh, this is really massive. I love this habitat. Perhaps a waterfall here would have been nice, but you know, those are just tiny details um, because that's really all I can offer you at this moment because it looks really amazing. So I'm going to nitpick on certain things. I mean, this could have probably been the same height, but whatever. I mean, uh, if you have been featured on my channel multiple times, um, I obviously like your stuff and I'm going to nitpick about every single bit. <laughs> oh, I love the cave here. This looks really nice with the little, little mossy rocks. Sometimes a little flowers coming through. Really, really nice. Like, yeah, the only thing I really have to say is that a waterfall would have been cool. And then it would have been perfect. Plus I don't have a baby. That, that's really, I know that's not your fault, but that's a shame. Because babies are cute. Ah, dinosaurs. When I was a kid, I used to be crazy about dinosaurs. Still am. So, you know, dinosaurs. I'm like the dino girl. <laughs> That's why it really sucks that I couldn't get a uh, key for the um, prehistoric kingdom. I really would have loved that. But unfortunately, I couldn't get the alpha key. Ah, ostriches. Because if I had had the alpha key, um, you would no longer see Planet Zoo or a lot less. You would see prehistoric kingdom. Oh, I can't wait for that game to get out of alpha and into beta. Hopefully you can get a beta key and otherwise early access and I'll buy that. Look at this. It's this little African hut, but then the animals are in there and they can walk on top. And there's a baby. So cute. I, don't, I like this. It's not a habit that I usually give off ostriches or that I see with ostriches. It's really nice. It's just ostriches. Really nice. This as well. I really enjoy it. Oh, and then the cherry blossom tree. My favorite tree. Actually, I actually went to the park a few days ago and took an entire photo shoot with these. If you're interested in seeing those photos, they're on my Instagram. Um, Instagram is in the description down below. Just like all my other social media, you should join our Discord. We need people there, you know. Ooh. Oh, I like this. This is really cool. This is really amazing. There as well, nice. Then you have an entire food and drinks called ATMs. Wow, you really spared no expense. Then you have this little gazebo. Or a quite big gazebo, that's so cool. And here you have a savanna. So we have the sable antelope, giraffe and a zebra. I like the way of the different uh, flooring here that you use the wooden planks. Uh, ah, the tropical map, should have known, perfect. Ah, you painted these as well. Oh my goodness, this is so big. I like this. Ooh, I like the way you did this. So it gives the illusion that it's actually part of this tree. That's so cool. I think, is there like a uh, safari right through here? Is there? No, I don't think there is. Oh, giraffes. Because imagine how cool it would have been if you had like a safari ride going over. You know, like that, and then like that again. That would have been really nice. I love this little hut, but this? Wow. All the dirt and then the flowers on top and then all the wooden panels. And then here it's a little bit open and it's really massive. Oh, and one of them just ran out. 
really, really cool. Really nice. I love the use of this wall as well. I never really used this wall because I don't know how to match it. But this looks really cool. Really, really nice. And then you also like for people that are disabled or can't walk stairs, you have like this bit here. Nice. Okay, so you know, different pathing again, which I really love. Staff only. Haha, <laughs> we're staff today. Ah, oh, solar panels. I can't get over the fact with how amazing this looks. I just, wow. I feel like I need to screenshot this. Just like that. So it's really amazing. So here we have the common warthog. Oh, it's a little bit broken. Shall I just fix that? Let's call the mechanic. Ah, oh, I found it. Oh, oh, the babies. Look how cute. I'm actually buying kittens. I like I already bought them, but I have to wait until they're old enough for me to, for like to have them in my own home. They're still with their mom at the moment. Oh, I love baby animals. They're so cute. It's actually a documentary about uh, baby animals in the first year. Oh, another baby, which is really interesting, and you'll learn so much about all the animals. If baby hyenas, so cute. Oh, I love this building with some round planters. Really, really nice. Cool. You can actually see them. No, what I love is that this is just an entire glass wall and you build it like in front of the barrier. You can actually see, see there's a little bit of space there. This is really cool. Really clever. Oh, red panda. I always enjoy the habitat that people make for the red pandas because it's so um like over the top usually same with yours i really love it and i mean over the top in a good way not in a bad way i mean like look how much effort and time you put into this or at least i think you put so much effort and time into this because this would have taken me a lot of effort and time so cool reptile home oh i know this is going to be exhibits right yes Boa constrictor, frogs. I still like to see an update of Planet Zoo where you could uh, make your own exhibits because they all look the same. Like, and that's not your fault, that's like the Planet Zoo's fault. Poison dart frogs, nice. Ooh, I like this. Let's go to the Komodo dragon. Ah, oh, you can already see them here. That's really nice. You can stand on top here and look down. Same with here. Wow. The amount of planning this must have taken you. Oh, they're, they're quite big, aren't they? I mean, look how giant this thing is. And then you have this lovely habitat with a lot of water, which I really like. A lot of plants as well, so the animals have privacy, which I personally feel is really important. And see what I just said about um, the border having a lot of plants, that it looks good. I mean, if you were to look like this, you wouldn't know that it would just end there. You feel like it's an ongoing progress and I really enjoy that. So here what you could do perhaps is to put a little bit of uh, speed accelerations in here so it makes the water a little bit faster. But you know, like I said, those are all nitpicky items. Because overall I'm really, really pleased with this zoo and the way it turns out. Oh, I can hear a baby animal being born. Oh, lovely. Same with the uh, tiger. Staff only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what the view is from here. Ooh. Oh, I love these viewpoints. You have excellent eye for viewpoints. Springbok. Ah, ah. They're eating. It's just running through the water. So fast. So here again, just like the buildings on the other side, you have this lovely structure with this little bit on top. It completes it, which I really like. And here you have some tortoises. They're quite big, aren't they? They have three ba four babies. Really, really nice. I love that it's like almost symmetrical because this side has the same building as the other side. I quite like that. 
And here we have oh, camels. Ooh, this is quite a different habitat than the rest. I, I like this. This is one of my favorite camel habitats I have seen. Because this looks really cool. Really, really cool. I'm really pleased with this. Nice. So I think here we have to pick me hippo again, right? Yes. So we have the, uh, another viewpoint of the pick me hippo. And I believe... I'm very happy with choosing left first. I believe that was the end of our zoo tour then. So there you have it, guys. Sydney Zoo by Ravenscar Gaming. Um, if you didn't know, Ravenscar also has a YouTube channel. I'll make sure to link that down below. You can give him a follow. And while you're at it, you know, uh, you can give me a follow as well. And if you'd like your zoo to be toured, you can go into my Discord. There's a channel there called uh, Link Your Zoo or something like that. And you can link the your zoo there. So the Steam link, write something about your zoo and I will tour it on my channel and give you guys my opinion. So if you'd like that, do that. And then guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.